Hey guys, today I wanted to do a review of Clothes for the Season by Mary Downing Hahn. Um, I think this is the second book of hers that I'm doing a review on. I'm pretty sure the first one was uh, The Ghost of Crutchfield Hall. If not, I'll make a note somewhere, but I think that's what it was. And so I first picked this up just because of the cover. Because as you see, it's kind of dark and creepy. And I just thought it looked really cool. And then also, another part of how it looks is the chapter headings. I just thought were really cool. Oh look, the baby's coming to steal my book. Sammy, what are you doing? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, and so the chapter headings are cool. And it had a whole, you know, dark kind of goth vibe to it. And when I saw it was her, and then I remembered I'd read one of her books before that I liked, I figured I'd read it again, or read this one. Um, it is a juvenile book, so it's for a younger crowd, and I think that was my problem why I didn't love it. It's just because I am too old for it. Like, there are some children's books that can are good for adults, too, but this one, I think, is just too young for me. But it was decent. Um, it is about a boy named Logan who moves to a new town and meets a annoying kid next door named Arthur. And through Arthur, he finds out that this house they just bought was... This, um, the woman who had lived there before had been murdered. And of course his family didn't know this when they bought the house, but it turns out that um, she had worked at a now abandoned amusement park in the town called the Magic Forest, and someone had embezzled a couple million dollars worth of money from the Magic Forest, and people thought it was her. And so the theory is that someone broke into her house to try to find the money and killed her for it. But of course the money was never found that anyone knows, so the story ends up being Logan and Arthur trying to find out if the money still exists, or who took the money, where it is, if it's still around, and who killed the old woman. And they meet, you know, some people along the way. There's a reporter who's doing a story on the murder, Arthur's grandmother, um, just people in the town. And all throughout the story, Logan's mother is trying to get him involved with a better crowd than Arthur, the weird kid. And so she wants to move up in society and make friends with the richer crowd. And so he meets some of them and their kids and, yeah, gets involved in a whole bunch of stuff. So, um, overall it was good. It was okay. It was okay. I didn't love it. But, um, it was suspenseful. There was some mystery. There were some surprises. But nothing that really kept me on the edge of my seat. Though it was a quick read. It was only like 200 pages. Not even. 178, I think. So, I mean, it was a decent read. I think if I was younger, I would have liked it a lot. It's cool that there are kids' books that have suspense and mystery and, you know, um, some scary parts. It's not like too watered down, but it's not like, you know, really adult stuff that might be too advanced for them. Um, he's going after the book again. Um... Do you have anything else to say, Sammy? Anything else to say? No? Overall, I would just say it was a good book. It was decent. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for adults or, you know, readers who don't have a tolerance for younger kid kind of stuff. But, yeah, there you go. I think I like Mary Downing Hahn overall. And I'd probably read another one of her books if I come across it in the library. Uh, talk to you guys later. Goodbye.